I feel like I'm standing in the future with my friends at Yazda, even though the slogan says beyond the future with Yazda. We all know this machine tool, right? Discussionably, the most precise machine on the planet. And I'm standing here with a couple of my friends who I would love to introduce to the MTD channel here. If we could start with you, my friend, please introduce yourself to the audience. Yeah. I'm Kenji Kagawa, Director of Sales Department in Yasta Headquarters. Uh, today, we will show you our latest machine and technology uh, exhibit in Tokyo Gym Talk with Tony. Uh, yes, thank you so much. And to that point, we're going to show you a new technology today that is only just being released. But stay tuned for that in just a second. If we could please have a second introduction. Hi, everyone. I'm Kuro from Yasta America. I'm glad to see you, uh, our latest technology to you. All right, now we're standing in front of this new YBM VI50 from Yaza. This is a larger model of what exists right now. Let's talk about this technology and how it can help the customers watching right now. Uh, this is a new our machine, uh, five axis vertical machine named the VI40. Uh, we have a target for the market for the big die cast diamond mode, the aerospace and uh, semiconductor, sem semiconductor uh, parts, like Tony said. Uh, you can see the, this sample, this is a sample from the die cast die mode. In the, for the air, electrical vehicle market, customers uh, start to make the aluminum bigger parts for the less the weight of the vehicles. Then in order to make uh, these figures, Customer mm -hmm. have to use the longer tools, length, longer lengths of the tools for the three-axis machine. But if customer use the five-axis machine, customer can save the lengths of the tools. It makes sense to me for many, many reasons. The first thing that pops into my head when we're able to reduce the overall tool length is the rigidity and depth of cut that we correct, can take, correct. especially in a softer material like aluminum because we want those lighter parts, right? Mm -hmm. So by reducing that overall length, that's quite brilliant by your size, by your, by your team. So one thing you mentioned to me is that when you enhance the size of something, sometimes we lose the overall precision and tolerances. Would you mind talking about what technology went into this? Because you've redeveloped the way it works as it continues to grow and grow, right? Correct, correct. Uh, normally, if we make a bigger size machines, uh, accuracy of the machine getting worse. But in order to keep the same accuracy with the smaller machine, we changed all of the design of these uh, machines and we add new technologies for uh, keeping the same accuracy. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So instead of just taking it from us, we're actually going to take a little walk with you and look at some of the parts that are being created right now. And don't even leave us right after that, after we look at these parts, because we're going to talk automation as well, because isn't that the buzzword we're all looking at right now? And if we can have the reliability of the precision of Yazda, combined with the fact that when we show up on a Monday after a weekend, we have all good 100% parts instead of scrapping parts, that's what we're all looking for. So before we get into automation let's talk about some of these beautiful parts we're looking at here and I think I already see a mold for earbuds is that what I'm looking at correct correct now uh, this is a, a sample a sample a diamond mold from our Asian customers uh, they make this diamond mold by our linear guide machines by fiberglass milling they finish this mass, uh, some, uh, diamond only the milling, no hand polish process. So if American customer use, start to use our machines, they can save the process and time of the hand polishing. And regarding these machines, uh, we have the flexible uh, technology interface and experience for other uh, automation system builders also. Like this, uh, you can see the AeroWare robots mm -hmm. and we add uh, one five, a three axis machine and one three, a five axis machines. So that if, is pretty clever, yeah, actually. So, yeah, so if uh, operator set the material to the, this robot, uh, customer can select the five axis milling and the five, a three axis uh, milling depend on the customers because every customer has a different requirement for the automation solutions depend on their workpiece or environment. So Yasda and our uh, exclusive uh, distributor method has, uh, uh, can provide the perfect uh, so automation solution depending on the customer's uh, workpiece and the environment. 
That's very important to understand as well. Being able to offer multiple strategies and multiple processes to give the customer what they want. But going back even to the beginning of that conversation, you said no more secondary operations. I mean, how hard for most people is it to get that mirror finished straight off of the correct, machine? Correct. And how long does it take to get that mirror finished in a secondary process? If I can do it all in one, and now I'm doing three axis and five axis and automation and no secondary processes, how much money and time am I actually Correct. saving right away? That's impressive. Yes, yes. Then regarding uh, these samples, this is a uh, uh, diamond mode for the FCV uh, fuel cell uh, vehicles. We machine, we kept the machine over 150 hours for the making this uh, diamond mode. Uh, we could uh, achieve the figure accuracy within the four micrometers. The error of the depth uh, z-axis are uh, only the reason uh, two micrometers. Wow. Every time we talk about microns, I'm not sure for those people who are, I mean, some of us do, don't get me wrong, but there's a piece of the audience out there right now that doesn't truly fathom what a micron is. And I'm talking about you change the temperature of this room by one or two degrees and you're changing a micron by one or two microns. That's how precise you have to be when creating products like this. Correct, yeah. Uh, we have the uh, advanced technology for uh, keeping the two lengths or machine accuracies for over long machine, uh, machining hours. Well, now that you've gotten me excited, now that you've gotten the audience excited, let's take a step over here and kind of bring this whole conversation full circle into the world of automation, right? Because you've mentioned it on our last machine. You had a great Aroa product in between the two, five axis, three axis. The flexibility, which is a good word to use, flexibility is so important. Now we're in front of this beautiful Yaza machine. So let's conclude this with a great statement or two statements or even three statements about automation and how you guys support the world of automation for your customers. Yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, as Tony said, the customer has a different uh, automation solution depend on their workpiece and environment. For example, this PX30i, this machine has a 33 pipe pool, 300 tools, uh, 23 tool changers, and a software that can control this machine easily just touching a touch panel, a few commands. Well, I may or may not have talked about this a few times with the methods team, so I understand how this works. For those who have not watched that video, even though there's a large audience out now paying attention to what's going on at MTD, the pallet change system allows someone to set up high mix, low batch volumes and allows them to run through the weekend without having to say, I need 100 of something or 200 or something. I can have one, two, three, four, set up as many different jobs as I want in that pallet change without having to worry about coming back and making changes. Yeah. On top of that, you have a great tool carousel mm. to make sure either redundant tooling is there or if it's not redundant tooling for the harder materials, an array of tooling for the softer materials. Yes, and customer can start unmanned the operation as soon as this machine is installed to the customer's factory. Unmanned operation is the route we're going to go to bring this whole thing to conclusion. Firstly, let me say thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. And we're actually going into the factory to give you guys a factory tour of Yazda. How incredible is that? And that's why I wanted to say thank you before getting to that part. This is an exclusive behind the scenes tour of how they actually do and create all of these machines for you. Amazing. Thank you both for being here and thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon.